Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, it wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. How many skill points? Is that 13? Damn.
so I need to go out. I need to go up in hall. Do that. I need to go down here. I need to do that. I need to go over there and do that. A lot of shit to do. Cats ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? telling me <laughs> you could really handle yourself kid and I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky had your number all wrong you're not so bad yourself old man maybe we should work together after all this fight was pretty good but you're still Nexus and green as a drill still something tells me you've got potential be ashamed to waste that I'm in <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. Oh, okay. This is gonna be great. <laughs> this is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost, focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. 
fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. I want her to like me, but at the same time... Mm. This is tough. This is tough. Uh, science? Military? I'm, I'm, I'm a science guy. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Don't worry. I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. I'm gonna finish up here first. Seventy-six percent. I need to get it to what, ninety-four or something like that? Yeah, we'll go down here and do this, and then I need to go do these two here too. And that one way out there. But yes. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait, oh shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. 
Likewise. I'm Fox, chief engineer for Pedromos. Anything you need, ask away. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think EOS is really going to be something. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff, unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to... do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. What do you do? What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. That's true. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. <laughs> Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Always good to go back to the old standby when I need to think. Underneath are several doodles showing elegant redesigns of the Nexus tram system map. Pasted to one side are a number of downloaded statistics on predicted population growth over the next century. Got a baseline. Bradley's always good for the numbers. Fox, how is it there? I heard Bradley has things up and running smoothly. I knew you guys could do it. Tell me about EOS. It's boring here, so I have to live vicariously through you. Didn't somebody just say that to us? The medical dude? Yeah, the medical staffing guy. Oh, you remember that girl I told you about? The Asari? We're going out this weekend. I can't believe she said yes. Wish me luck. Now it's time. Now it's your turn, buddy. Ellis. Yeah, people are relatively happy. That's good. I still haven't hit this thing up, though. What's below me? Okay, go inside. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for Eos. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. Formal crest. For Darkit Tervian. Making the quest again now, Bradley. I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be second wave, but I but I want a trail so that when all of this calms down in a few years, we can get proper outrage about how long it took to reunite families, especially ones hurt during the site one two mess. Oh, that was just half site half. But you know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Darkit Tervian W. W-84 Crispin, Exo Study Specialist. Reason, she's an asset and helps them. It's also my daughter. Merchants, 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 merchants. Cobra RPG. Don't I already have one of those?
corruptor ammo. Element. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, cool. So I just got a bunch of shit. That's awesome. We don't really need anything at the moment, so... So that's taken care of. We'll jump down here to this guy and then we'll go across the lake to there. And then we'll get the fuck out of here. Prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. <laughs> 